Hey, welcome to our Living in Southern California channel. My name is Willie. And I'm Anna. And today we're in Fullerton, California in the Three Woods gated community. We have so much to share with you about this house. Let's just get right into it. Tell us about this property. This home is a two-story home, three bedrooms, three baths. The living space is 1,952 square feet. And the bonus is it's on a cul-de-sac in a gated community. That's right, make sure you stick to the end because we'd like to talk to you about what surrounds this neighborhood. We walk into this beautiful entryway. As you can see, there's a staircase. Take a look. And one thing I like, I, I like the wrought iron work throughout the house. I don't know if you can distinguish this through the camera, but all this wrought iron is powder coated, which makes it look really nice. It helps it last a long, long time. And look, it's also throughout the house. Let me show you this side here. So I like that detail. Uh, the floors here are a laminate, almost a laminate whitewash, I'm gonna say. They're waterproof and they're throughout the house. One of the details I'd like to point out is, hopefully this camera can catch that. You see these corners here? They're not your typical square corners. They're bullnosed, so it gives the house a really nice modern look. Let me pan out here. High ceilings, wrought iron work, laminate floors, really nice, nice and bright. That's the entryway. Okay folks, so as we walk in immediately to the right, there's a step down there if you can see. So as we step down, we come into the first bathroom, which is a quarter bath, and it looks like it has a new vanity. I love that woodwork. Quartz countertops, new toilet, has the laminate floors, freshly painted, new light fixture up there. It's a cute bathroom. So that's bathroom one. So as we walk in on the right hand side, we also have the formal living room. You can see the wrought iron work there in those openings. I really dig that. I think it looks really cool. Take a look. So this formal living rooms, I'm gonna say is about 10 by 12. It has the laminate floors also, freshly painted, has a fireplace. That fireplace there looks like it. That uh, mantle is a natural stone. Let me try to focus in here. There you go. And this fireplace is gas burning. There's the control. And I like these one by one small tiles there. It gives it a unique look. Let me turn around here. There's a look from inside the formal living room. Has some canned lights. And again, I love these corners. It just makes it look really nice, modern, and it has a lot of natural light coming in. So that is the formal living room. Here's the dining room. It has a lot of natural light. I'm gonna say this dining room is about eight by 12 feet. It currently has a table that holds eight, has the laminate floors throughout. A lot of natural light, new light fixture. Let me turn this camera around, take a look. So this dining room is open to the living room that's back there. Has new double pane windows throughout the entire house. I like those double doors there that lead out to the patio. It's not a bad size. That's the dining room. Take a look at this beautiful kitchen. I love all the natural light that comes into this kitchen. I like these quartz countertops. They have a light gray vein going through them. I love that detail of that backsplash back there being a full backsplash all the way up to the upper cabinets. Take a look. The farmhouse sink there and there's more countertops. These cabinets are custom. They have a huge crown molding up above. Take a look. You have some pantry space here. Let's open these up. So these pantries are about 24 inches deep. Lots of storage space. Take a look. The appliances here are stainless steel. There's some more countertop space. You have your refrigerator there. Let me turn this around. There's the kitchen, canned lights. It's been freshly painted and it also has the laminate floors, the whitewashed laminate floors throughout here. It's a really cute, small kitchen. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this kitchen. I always love reading your thoughts. Don't forget to leave us a comment. That's the kitchen. 
If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you subscribe and you click that little bell so that you are notified every single time we do a brand new video. That's right, folks. Just pick up the phone, send us an email or a text message or even a lightning bolt. Whichever way you'd like to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Fullerton, California. So right to the left of the kitchen, as you step out, there's a small eating area. As you can see there, it has sliding doors to the back patio, a lot of natural light coming in. The floors are the same, laminate waterproof floors. And this little space here is gonna be, I'd say about six by six feet, which is a decent size for a small table like the one there. And immediately to the left is the family room. And this room here also has a lot of natural light, has can lights up above. It's been freshly painted. Take a look. And this space here, I'm gonna say it's about 10 by 11 feet. There you go. Here's the primary bedroom. And what I like about this bedroom, it's all the natural light that just comes in. Not sure if you can distinguish this through the camera, but it has a slightly vaulted ceiling, has can lights up there, double pane windows. The laminate floors are also upstairs here. New base moldings. And to the left is the primary bathroom. Take a look. Has a double sink vanity with lots of counter space. As you can see there, take a look. New hardware, new fixtures. Has a walk-in closet, pretty good size. Take a look. You have your own private resting area, let's call it. <laughs> and I love this detail. Custom tub. I love the black splash tile. Take a look at this tile. I love that soap box and it has a corner frameless shower. Look at that, with a waterfall shower head, soap box, it's just nice. Let me pan out here, give you a full view of this. There you go. This is a nice primary bathroom. Let me know what you think of this bathroom. I think it's nice, it's well done. It's very sharp, drop a comment. There we go. Here's bedroom two. It's been freshly painted, it has can lights. I'm gonna say this bedroom is about eight feet by nine. It's a smaller bedroom, new base moldings. There's the closet, here we go. There's the closet there. So this is on the smaller side. So that's bedroom two. Okay, here's bedroom number three. Also has the double pane windows, can light, the same laminate floors with new base molding. And I'm gonna say this is also eight by nine feet. Here's the closet, there it is. Now this has a connecting bath. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom, which connects to bedroom number two out there. But take a look, it has a new vanity, quartz countertops, new fixtures, new lights. And this one comes with a tub. So there's the tub, you can see it there. And it's a Jack and Jill, so it leads into the other bedroom. So let me just turn this around and show you this angle. There it is. So this would be bathroom number three. Okay, so this is the view of the backyard. It's a decent sized backyard. It has a covered patio there. Let me show you. So sliding doors, covered patio, has a barbecue pit here, veneered in a red brick, nice grass area, some vegetation. There are the double doors to the dining room. Let me give you a different view of this. Here we go. That is the backyard. So what we like about this Three Woods gated community, number one is that it's so serene. The majority of these houses, as you can see, are modern two-story homes, very well landscaped. Everybody here, you can tell there's a great pride of ownership and it's literally within walking distance. And I mean walking distance to Coyote Hill Golf Course, which is literally behind the community. You also have the Morningside Plaza, which is about five minutes from here. Uh, whether you have Stater Brothers and our favorite, the Bengal Bistro. Yes, and this home is also within minutes to Beechwood Elementary, which is a K through eighth grade school. You have Fullerton High School. You have Troy High School. And also within minutes is Rolling Hills Park. Yeah, overall, this community is really nice. Great place to live. We like this place. Hey folks, hopefully you enjoyed this tour. If you'd like to know more about this property, simply reach out to us at the number down below. And this home is listed at 1,495,000. Now don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And our YouTube channel, Living in Southern California. We'll talk to you soon.